Every now and again, you might come back to check your artwork and your resin is sticky. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Sticky resin is nothing to get panicked about. We can fix this. Hey guys, so we all know how easy it is to use our resin, but what happens if you come back the next day and your resin is sticky? You might have a liquidy mess on your hands, you might have soft sticky spots in your resin, or the whole thing might feel tacky even after curing for a few days. Why did this happen and what can we do about it? Well, the first thing is don't panic. The second thing is that art resin is super forgiving and we can fix this. And the third thing is to understand why the resin was sticky in the first place to make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm gonna take you through three of the most common sticky situations, explain why it happened and show you exactly how to fix your work. So let's get started. Now the first thing that we need to understand is that art resin comes in two parts, a resin and a hardener. When you mix these two according to the label instructions, a chemical reaction occurs that takes it from a liquid to a solid. Now if something happens to prevent this chemical reaction from occurring, that's when you end up with a sticky mess. So it's really, really important to remember that art resin was formulated to be measured in equal amounts by volume, not by weight. So this means that if you use one ounce of resin, you're gonna to wanna to use one ounce of hardener. Okay, so measuring accurately is super important. The next important step is to mix thoroughly. So once you have your equal amounts of resin and hardener in your measuring cup, then you wanna stir for at least three minutes. And while you stir, you wanna make sure you scrape the bottom and you scrape the sides of your container as you mix. Now the reason for that is that if you don't scrape you might have unmixed resin and hardener stuck to the sides and then when you pour your resin out you're pouring unmixed product into your artwork. So measure accurately, mix thoroughly. Those are the two most important steps. Now if you do find yourself with sticky resin just remember that until you do something to fix it it's going to stay sticky indefinitely. So this is what we're going to take care of today. Now to fix your sticky resin, you're gonna need some tools. The first thing, most important, dealing with sticky resin, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got gloves. So I've got a box of gloves here. You're gonna to wanna to have several pairs of gloves as you go. You're also gonna to wanna to have paper towel and uh, some spray alcohol to clean up any sticky messes. If you've got runny, liquidy resin, it's good to have a scraping tool like this one here. If you've got a flat piece of artwork, you can even use a squeegee that comes in really handy. You're also gonna to wanna to have some sandpaper on hand. We like using coarse sandpaper like 80 grit here at Art Resin. And you'll wanna have a damp paper towel to wipe off any sanding residue. Now the other thing which is really handy is to have your work surface lined with something to protect it, like plastic. So I've got a plastic lined workspace here. I also have a piece of parchment paper as well. You could use wax paper too. Um, but I've got a piece of parchment paper that I'm gonna scrape my liquidy resin right onto this um, parchment paper, and then I can just bundle it up and toss it in the trash, and it makes cleanup super easy. Now, the last thing that you need is an apron. You wanna keep that sticky resin off of your clothes, throw your hair up, and you are good to go. All right, so let me get my gloves on here and we will talk about the very first sticky situation, which is liquidy, runny, wet resin. Now, why does this happen? Usually this happens because you've mixed two parts of resin or two parts of hardener instead of mixing one part resin, one part hardener. So there is no chemical reaction happening at all and you end up with a sticky mess on your um, artwork. Now, another common cause of liquid runny resin is adding too much colorant. Now, whether you use a liquid pigment or you use a powdered pigment, adding more than 6% of the total combined volume of resin and hardener will result in liquidy resin. Uh, adding more than 6% throws off that delicate balance between the resin and hardener, and it will stay liquidy. So how do we go about fixing this? Well, the first thing you need to do is to scrape off all of the liquidy runny resin and then apply a fresh coat of carefully measured and mixed art resin on top. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my piece here and bring it over our parchment. And because this is nice and flat, I'm gonna use a squeegee. So I'll just move this one out of the way. 
Okay, so I've got my squeegee here. So this step is really, really important. It's good to get it off as best you can because if you do leave any liquidy um, uncured resin or hardener on your piece, it could actually leak out from under your fresh resin coat. So it's really important to scrape it off as best you can. Okay, which I'm doing here. All right. Okay, so that looks good. Now, your paper towel and your alcohol come in handy here at this point because you wanna wipe off your squeegee. So just spritz them on the paper towel and wipe your tools down. Right away while the resin is still wet. Okay, so that looks good. And we can just toss this into the trash. Now, I'm actually gonna put a fresh coat of resin on all three of these pieces at once at the end. Um, but I just wanted to point out that your alcohol and paper towel also come in handy the next day after your resin has cured, uh, just in case you still have any sticky spots left on the bottom or the sides of your piece from handling it. Okay, so wait until your fresh resin coat is dried and then you can use a little spritz of alcohol just to clean up any sticky bits that might still be there. Okay, so let's go on to our second sticky situation, which is tacky resin. Okay, so this, um, in this instance, there's no liquidy or runny resin. In fact, your resin has cured, it's just not dry. It's tacky to the touch. And you can see here, if I put my gloved hand on the resin, it actually sticks. Now, why did this happen? Well, once again, something has prevented that chemical reaction from taking place. More often than not, it's a case of inaccurate measuring or under mixing um, that has stopped the resin and hardener from curing. But if you find this has happened to you, count yourself lucky because this is actually the easiest fix out of all three sticky situations. If you think temperature might have been the culprit, all you need to do is move your piece to a warmer spot and leave it for 24 hours and that should do the trick. If it doesn't and your resin is still tacky, then all you need to do is mix up a fresh batch of carefully measured and mixed art resin, coat it on top and you will never know you ever had sticky resin. All right, so let's move on to our last situation here and that is sticky spots. Now, this might present as a mixture of perfectly cured resin dotted with sticky spots. You may even have liquidy, runny resin as well. Um, now, the reason this happens that you get kind of a mixture of everything is from scraping your um, resin as you pour from the mixing container. Now, we always tell you to scrape really well when you're mixing your resin, but you may, despite how well you scrape, you may have remnants of unmixed resin and hardener stuck to the side of your mixing container. So if you're pouring and you scrape these out onto your piece, you're pouring unmixed product right into your perfectly um, catalyzed resin and hardener, which will end up giving you sticky spots. Now, the fix for this is a little more involved because you do have perfectly cured resin and sticky and potentially runny. Now, how do we go about fixing this? Well, let's take a closer look at our piece here. So we've got the majority of it has cured absolutely perfectly, but we've got a big area in the middle here where it's tacky. And on this side, we've got a big chunk where it's actually liquidy. So what we're gonna have to do, because we have a few different problems, we're gonna use a couple of different techniques to solve them. So the areas that have perfectly cured are going to need to be sanded down. So this is when your sanding paper is gonna come in handy. Remember I said 80 grit, you want a coarse sandpaper. The reason being is that we wanna rough up the surface to create some tooth for our fresh art resin layer to hang on to. Okay, so we're gonna sand this down, these areas here. And we just want to rough it up. We're not trying to get rid of any imperfections. We're just trying to rough up the surface a bit. Okay, that looks good. Then we're going to take our uh, damp paper towel and we're going to wipe off as best we can all the sanding residue. We don't want any of that sanding dust um, on our piece before we pour our fresh coat. Okay, perfect. Now we need to get rid of that liquidy, runny resin. Okay, so I'm gonna take this scraper this time. I've got a piece of parchment paper and I'm just gonna scrape off as much of this wet resin as I can. Actually, there's a little bit of sticky stuff up here too. Okay, 
So I think that looks good. And then last, remember the tacky resin in the middle, we are just gonna leave it. We don't need to do anything to that. Okay, so now that all of these three pieces have been taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and get my resin and hardener and mix up a carefully measured and thoroughly mixed batch of art resin, and we're gonna pour a fresh coat on each of these pieces. All right, so I've got my carefully measured and mixed art resin here. I went over to artresin.com slash calculator, and I found out that for each of these pieces, I would need two ounces. So I've got six ounces total in here, made up of three ounces of resin and three ounces of hardener. And I carefully uh, mixed it for three minutes, scraping the sides and scraping the bottom as I stirred. Okay, so now I am ready to pour. This is the fun part. All right. All right, so there's one. Move on to our next one. Okay, and finally our last one here. And notice I'm not scraping, so I don't want to repeat the same problem. Okay, so I'll set this aside. I'll get my stick here, and I'm just going to spread this out. And I'm actually going to dome these pieces. I love doming because it's just so nice and uh, clean. I don't have to worry about drips. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm ready to dome now. So I'll just set this aside. I'm just going to use a little plastic spatula. They come in so handy. You can use like a takeout knife as well. Works beautifully well. And I'm just going to nudge the resin right up to the edge without letting it go over the side and it's just gonna sit right along the perimeter. Now, if you get good at doming, you don't need to tape, but you certainly can tape off the bottom if it makes you feel more comfortable. All right, that looks good. Okay, and now we just wanna torch out these bubbles. Okay, so last step now is to cover it to protect it from dust. So I've got my dust cover right here. And that's a perfect fit. We will leave it for 24 hours and see how it looks tomorrow. Hey friends, so our pieces have cured. Hopefully we're gonna check it out now. Just take our dust cover off. They've been sitting overnight. So if you remember, this first piece had the liquidy runny resin that I had to squeegee off. It was absolutely soaking wet. Um, and I suspect there is going to be some wet resin underneath. So it is cured on top. It's perfect. Uh, but let me just put my gloves on and I'm gonna check the underside because I think I had some dripping when I was using the squeegee. Just take a look here. And yes, yeah, I see there's a whole bunch of uh, wet resin here. So this is when your paper towel and your alcohol spray come in handy. Now that the top has cured perfectly, I can clean up the underside without worrying about making a sticky mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab myself a piece of paper towel and we're gonna spritz some rubbing alcohol onto it. Make sure you're wearing gloves for this part and then we'll just flip it over now I don't have to worry, this is cured on top and I can just wipe down the underside here. There we go, that looks good. Awesome. So this piece is perfect. So let's move on to our next one. This one was the tacky resin. And remember I put my glove down, I was actually able to lift the entire thing off of the stand. So, yeah, this is perfect. So tacky resin is such an easy fix. You literally don't have to do anything. Just pour a fresh coat and you are good to go. This is perfect. Alrighty, so this is our last piece here now and we're keeping it real folks. Sometimes things don't work out and you need to go back and do another fix and that is the case with this one here. Um, after I poured yesterday and put the dust cover on, I came back to check on them and I noticed that uh, some of the cured resin, remember this one had a mixture of cured resin, sticky resin and um, liquidy runny resin, which I scraped off, but I noticed that some of the cured resin actually had started to lift up. So I've got some air 
areas here that are tacky. They're not runny, they're just tacky, but I've got um, a, a raised edge here of cured resin. So this is all gonna need to be sanded down. Now, because we do have some areas with sticky resin, um, we are gonna end up clogging our sandpaper. So you wanna make sure that you've got a few pieces of sandpaper on hand. And again, we wanna use 80 grit, um, a coarse sandpaper, and we wanna sand down this imperfection here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let me just grab my gloves. You definitely wanna wear gloves because there are some areas of sticky resin. Okay, so I'll move these stands out of the way here. So it's perfect everywhere. It's just this little ridge right here that raised up. So I'm just gonna sand that out. First, I'm gonna just start in these areas here that have perfectly cured, so I don't use clogged sandpaper. Okay, so now I'm gonna start working on this area here with the ridge. So we just wanna keep sanding until it's perfectly smooth and there's no trace of those ridges left. All right, let's check this out here. Actually, that feels good. I can't feel that ridge anymore. So perfect. Now we are ready to um, wipe down our piece and get rid of all of the sanding residue. So I'm just gonna move my piece over here for a second. I'll grab my damp paper towel and we'll get rid of all of this dust here. So we don't want that near our fresh resin. So we'll just wipe it down with a damp paper towel. And this is just water on here. So you can see the piece looks destroyed but you will see when we put the fresh resin on, all of these scratch marks are gonna disappear. Okay, so let me mix up a fresh batch of carefully measured and carefully mixed art resin, and we will fix this again. <laughs> All right, so I've got my mixed art resin here. I've got one ounce of resin, one ounce of hardener. I mixed thoroughly for three minutes. I scraped the sides and I scraped the bottom as I stirred, and now I am ready to pour, so here we go. And I've got my little tool here. I'm just gonna dome it like I love to do. So here's the area here that had that ridge that I sanded down and you cannot feel that at all. It's completely smooth. All right, looks good and now I'm ready to torch. Okay, all the bubbles are gone. Looking good. So we're gonna cover it up and tomorrow we will reveal one more time. <laughs> Alrighty, so our resin is cured. Let's take a look. Perfect, it looks perfect, it feels perfect. It's no longer tacky, it's hard, it's smooth. So, you know, sometimes it may take a couple of tries, but believe me, sticky resin is nothing to get panicked about. Okay, so if you do find yourself with sticky resin, remember, if it's liquidy, you have to scrape it off. If it's tacky, leave it. If you've got areas that have cured perfectly, you wanna sand those down before you pour on your fresh coat of art resin. And to avoid sticky resin in the first place, make sure you resin in a nice warm environment. Don't add too much colorant, and most important, follow the label directions. So that means measuring accurately by volume, that means mixing thoroughly, that means scraping the uh, sides of the container, and that means not scraping when you pour. And if you follow those instructions, you will end up with a perfect, glossy, hard <laughs> or resin coat. And that's it. Please leave any questions in the comments below and we will see you next time.